So welcome everybody to Thursday's show. And it really comes down to, for today, what's going on, Germany, Coinbase, and Michael Saylor. Let me explain. So this was a little report that came out from Arkham. I'll link them uh, information in the description. And it looks like the German government is selling Bitcoin right now, 195 million so far. And it's not just that, it's not just 195 million. The German government actually yesterday moved $600 million with the Bitcoin and sending 130 million Bitcoin to four likely exchanges, uh, including Kraken and Bitstamp. Right now they still hold $3.05 billion worth of uh, Bitcoin. And if we take a look over here at Bitcoin treasuries, it's just amazing that uh, we've got people, when they start dumping, it just keeps dumping and dumping and dumping. But remember, it really is a cycle. It really is a flow. That's why I use the image for today's thumbnail, because it really just is periods of accumulation and dumpage and just goes round and round again. So if you don't like what the price action is right now, just hang around. I think you'll like what's going to what's going to come up in the next six to eight months or so. If we take a look here, we can see that uh, USA is the big winner so far with the seizure of Bitcoin from Silk Road and God knows how many other different places they've they, they've uh, have accumulated it. They have 207,000 Bitcoin right now of uh, 13 and a half billion dollars. China, 12.6, UK 3.9, and then Germany right now sitting around 3.2. But that number is going to decrease as they keep moving the Bitcoin around. Now remember, even though Bitcoin is being moved around by an entity does not necessarily mean it is being sold. However, like I've said many a times, I don't just move my Bitcoin and crypto around for giggles. I do it for one specific reason, and that is usually to sell and take profit. So we have Germany on the forefront. And then also, this is from uh, Ki Young Ju. Uh, this is from CryptoQuant. And it looks like he's identified another selling pressure, Coinbase. Now, I think we know all this, right? We know that there are individuals who are selling like crazy, and that's just par for the course. We've had a pretty big run up, and this is just normal. I know people will tell you that, you know, hey, you got to hold over forever and everything else. Well, that's just not the case. And we're going to see here that the premium gap is quite large. If we take a look at a different one, sell moving average of over 30, we can see that over from June 20th, after like a little bit of a rally, we've kind of just dropped off the cliff. And I think that's people just panicking. They're seeing the price of Bitcoin, mostly altcoins going down. I mean, Bitcoin, let's be honest, uh, just a year ago, we were at 25,000 or excuse me, actually 30,000. And we've gone from there and we've doubled in price all the way up to 73K, somewhere around uh, March 13th. So I know people will take a look at this and go, oh, it's just an awful day. But just remember just how far we've come in a very short period of time. So yes, we're having a lot of people who are, I think, a little bit of rational or they're taking profits, which I can de definitely see. There's one of my rules that I'm always trying to follow. But it's not all bad news. On the forefront, we've also got a little piece from Eleanor Terrett. It looks like Kraken is went to dismiss against the SEC. This is a case that is going on right now. The reason why they're moving for a dismissal is they're going to use the argument that the SEC just came out and said that they are stopping the case against consensus and Ethereum 2.0 being labeled as a security by saying that, hey, we're okay with it. We don't think it's a security, just kind of keep moving on. So what Kraken is going to do is they're going to say the same thing. They're going to say, look, if this is all about tokens and ecosystems and it triggers the Howey test, how can you say that we are selling these unregistered securities? And those include Solana, Cardano, and Algo. So if we can get through this and the court can say, okay, SEC, why are you still in the game here? And why are we suing Kraken for whatever reason? And you're labeling them as an unregistered exchange and broker dealer. When you just gave essentially consensus a free pass, it cannot work just one way. This is a two-way street. So if this breaks out, and Kraken actually gets away and hopefully they don't settle. Hopefully they take it to the very end and get a judgment or ruling against the SEC so we can actually use that later on. I think it's a huge win. I think it's an actual case that we should all be watching. And then lastly, I think probably one of the, the bigger stories, which seems to happen every couple of months or so, Michael Saylor, Michael Strategy, it has completed a hundred million dollar offering of convertible notes at two and a quarter percent coupon and 35 percent conversion premium for MicroStrategy, and they're going to be buying Bitcoin. But the question is, how much will they be buying and how much will they be putting on the balance sheet? 
Only time will tell, but usually what happens is they buy a whole chunk of Bitcoin because that's what Michael Saylor or Michael Strategy do. So that I think is a positive development and I like to see those things moving forward. And then it's not just about this ecosystem and just kind of getting uh, stuck there. I want to do something and give back. I was uh, reached out by uh, Tencent and they're the guys responsible for Katamoto, which is a project that they do for a meme coin. And they're going to be doing a launch pad. It's called Catapult. And to do that, you need an NFT. And what that allow you to do is to get into some very early round deals. So they said, hey, would you like to give away some free NFTs? I said, sure, give them to me. So there's a link in the description. I just need you to do this. Follow me on X, follow Katamoto, repost this. And if you want to learn more about Katamoto and hamsters and Trumps and some crazy action as far as DGen play, I'm actually ranking the different DGen plays that are out there from the most safest, which actually you can't get much safer than me giving away free stuff, to the most risky. So I'll link this video. This is on the secondary channel, Dan DGen, if you're getting a little bit bored of talking about Bitcoin and ETFs and the, the stagnation of the market, something else to check out. So check that out. I'll link that in the description, but that is it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive, but that is it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by in this quick piece and we'll see you on the next one.